the Women's Foundation understood the importance of raising awareness about the painful truths that have impacted the lives of so many women and their families. With a grant from the Assisi Foundation, they collaborated with the Center for Research on Women at the University of Memphis to develop a report called Profiles, the Status of Women and Girls. The results showed women and children comprise 80% of those living in poverty in the Memphis area. I'm the first person in my family to go to college. I came from a very poor background. So I lived the life of uh, a woman or a female who did not have access to all of the opportunities perhaps that some of my peers did and certainly uh, perhaps to what males may have had. So I've lived that life. I know what it's like. Most people think of the Delta as being the poorest area of Mississippi, but my county was very poor also in Northeast Mississippi and I was motivated from an early age um, to want to wanna help women and children get out of poverty. And so when, you know, it's just a natural for me, it's a natural continuation of what I've felt for a long time. The research revealed systemic problems in such areas as financial literacy, housing, job readiness, leadership development, and economic self-sufficiency. As these stories unfolded, more women caught the vision and became part of the solution. I think the Women's Foundation has, has broadened and deepened that impact by, by reaching beyond a handful of kind of the go-to women and diversifying the base of women who are engaged in, in, in really powerful leadership. And I mean diversifying in all ways, racially, economically, um, age. Um, so it's, it's just multiplied the impact that women can have. At that time, I was probably the only, uh, one of the very few, you could count maybe five to ten women of color uh, in the city in, as a professional and in women's health care. So that's why I thought it was very important for me to be out there and uh, visible to help the women of the community, the children of the community. So it was a great opportunity for me to jump at the chance to be able to work. The Women's Foundation introduced a new out-of-the-box theme called the power of the purse. Several initiatives would soon evolve from this effort, including the Purse Party, the Murdy Buckman Mentor Awards, and later the Legends Awards and Hall of Legends honoring the iconic women who have inspired others to pursue their dreams. The Purse Party event was launched with two celebrity guests, Murdy Buckman and Dr. Dorothy Height, president of the National Council of Negro Women. A silent purse auction was held with purses from several celebrities as well as state and local dignitaries. In her biography, The Essence of Murdy, commissioned by the Women's Foundation and written by Trish Calvert, Murdy's legacy is one of quiet strength and unwavering determination to brighten the world by being a lighthouse of courage and hope. 